All right, everybody, we are going to make a slab for your tile, uh, your, your hanging tile. And you need a couple things. You need a piece of scratch paper. That's eight and a half by 11, okay? Paper clip is good to have. A few plastic bags, because we're gonna make our tile on the plastic bag. You need some kind of hard surface to store it on. Uh, this is just some book I found. I'm gonna cover it so it won't ruin the book. And it's, it's handy to have two of them, because to make a tile, you want to have another something on top of it to help keep it flat. If you don't, there's some, another way to deal with it as well. So um, you need that. And I found some other scratch paper for storage, um, for storage as well. So um, you need some of those things. All right, you need to get into your clay. Sorry about the, all the noise. And hopefully you have a piece of clay that might be a little bigger than a tennis ball left over. That's about all you'll need to make a tile. Sorry, lots of noise there. And you need a little bit of water. Okay, you'll see my hand go off camera and wipe like that. Every time I do that, I'm just putting some water on my fingertips and just kind of wiping my hands so the, uh, the, the clay doesn't get dried out too much. So whenever you have to put clay together, it's really a good idea, if, or watch this, to really slap it hard together. Really slap it hard. Okay, that helps create um, a good connection between the clay. And if you haven't learned how to wedge that, and I think you did in the first video of your, um, for, to make the pinch pot. Remember what wedging is, it helps make all that clay mix together. Again, your clay might be getting a shade on the dry side. So it's important to um, as you wedge once in a while every and then remember you're gonna turn it and remember wedging is using the heel of your hand and just kind of pushing the clay down a little bit down and forward and then tipping it back up just a little bit like that don't you're not gonna you don't don't roll it like that okay you're just gonna tip it back up and hang on to it with your hands around it and kind of just push down then roll it up and push down and roll it up and after a while, you get into a nice little rhythm. And as you can see, you're going to make a little mess. That's still good clay. I'm going to take my, my spare credit card here and just kind of wipe it right back in there. Once you do that, and it really feels like it's one piece of clay and not those pieces of clay smashed together, then you can start to just pat it into a ball. It does not have to be a perfect ball. When you do that, you're going to have a rounded hand and really slap it pretty good. You know, slap it a couple of times and rotate it until you feel like it's the kind of a ball. Now, if there are any little lines left behind, I always wipe those. And again, here I go in the water, just a little bit of water on my hands. Don't let your hands get slippery wet, just enough to um, get rid of the dust. And if there's any little lines and cracks, you want to wipe those because you don't want them to turn into cracks later that'll make it make things break. All right, here we go. So first, to make a tile, and we're gonna try to make our tile about the thickness of a pencil. It takes a little bit of doing and flipping and doing and patting and flipping. If it's not the size of a pencil, it should be a little bit thicker than a pencil, okay? Not thinner, and I, I hope I have enough here. See, that's a, a little bit larger than a tennis ball. If anything, it's better to have this ball too big and you can always peel off the excess, all right? So first, I'm just gonna start patting it, but it's very round, okay? What I'm gonna do now is just kind of pat it on the edges. Use the tabletop. See, it's starting to look a little more square. So each time I kind of pat it and I'm gonna flip it over and Kind of pat it. See, it's getting thinner. It's getting bigger. It's starting to round off again. So I'm going to go back to that and get it kind of square. And I can even remember a piece of computer paper folded in half is five and a half inches. Okay, so I can see I'm, I'm almost there and it's still really thick. I think I'll make it. Um, Okay, once you get it to here, starting to get a little bit loose, and again, 
um, I'm going to wipe off that dust. Now what I'm going to do is start to use the table as my other flat surface. So I'm just going to do that. And if you do that too much, it'll stick to your tabletop. So I need to flip it over regularly. And I can kind of help keep it square, kind of square, and flip it over carefully. Don't grab it with one hand. Okay, always kind of grab with two hands so you don't stretch the clay out. And if you, like I said, if you, um, if you pat it too much, it'll stick to the table. So a little bit of patting and flip it over. Let's see how we're doing on size. Oh, we're almost there. And it is, let's see how thick it is. It's still quite a bit thicker than a pencil. Now, I'm going to switch because I'm going to pat it a little bit more. I'm going to work on plastic. That's important because we don't want it to stick to the table. And letting it release from plastic is much easier. Okay, then you can just pick up the plastic, start to peel it off, and it, come, it releases much easier. And flip it over, and look how nice and flat that part is. Again, try to keep it square. Feel the thickness of it, see if it's about this. Ooh, look at that, we're, we're there, okay? Except I can go just a shade thinner. And I'm gonna focus on the corners a little bit. So it doesn't get too round. Remember, this is still kind of squarish, even though it has some rounded edges. But I'm gonna go in here and test it, make sure it's five and a half inches both ways. And again, I'm gonna pat just on the corners, just these this area here. I'm gonna, it's almost like I'm moving my hand that way, just a little bit to try to stretch out the corners. So I'm not going straight down, I'm kind of coming in at an angle. Just and uh, like he, from here too. Okay, oh, 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 oh. let's get a little bit of water on my hands. Again, your, your hand should not be slippery, wet. Now this side has a few little lumpity bumps, but as soon since the bottom, the table, okay, carefully flip it over. Double check my size. Okay, I'm good there. I think I'm good there. We're going to mark where to cut it. This is the last time I'm going to pat it, so I'm kind of being soft with it. The underside is now is going to be the top. Okay, now the thickness of this, it's almost, it's just a little tiny bit thicker than a pencil, and that's cool. Um, all right, now I'm going to pick up the plastic. Make sure to pick up the plastic. Otherwise, you're going to bend the clay. Now watch how I carefully peel that around, and I carefully put it down. Now, I can see little bits of lumpity bumps on here, and that's okay because we're going to be attaching things to this. So it's not that big a deal that it's not perfectly um, smooth. However, if you want to smooth it out a little bit, you can take that, that credit card and just kind of give it a little bit of pressure and wipe it in several directions, and that can help a little bit. Okay, that's plenty good. Now we're going to mark where we're going to cut it. So I'm going to get kind of close to this corner over here so I know I have enough room. And I'm going to just make two little dots. One right there, one right there. Then I'm going to, again, I'm going to draw a line down here. Just draw a little line to make sure I know I'm still at five and a half. Okay, then I'm going to go to the other side. Oop, let me go this way so you can see it better. I'm going to put the corner of my paper right at that dot. I'm going to line it up with this. And boy, it's just right at the edge right there. That corner is right there. I'm going to do the same thing over here to make sure it's pretty square. And again, my the corner of my paper is right there at the corner of my um, slab. And that's okay. Now I have my four corners. If I wanted to, I could take 
like to watch this. I'm going to fold it again, and that makes a nice little straight edge. It's a little bit stronger. I'm going to put, lay my paper right on those two marks. A paper clip becomes a really nice clay cutter. Don't use something real sharp because you'll cut up the plastic. When you cut this, try to make sure that your paper clip, your paper clip is going straight up and down. You don't want to hold it at some crazy angle to create a bevel. So I'm just going to cut all the way through. Then I can peel away this, this extra clay. I can go on this side. Or it doesn't matter which side you do next. All right, peel that away. I like to turn so I don't have to cut at some crazy angle. I'm going to go here right to the corner that I previously cut. And over here, I'm going to turn this. So I'm right handed, I like to cut with my right hand. Get those two corners lined up carefully. And slice that off. Okay, now I'm going to pick this up a time or two, but I'm really going to make sure it does not um, stretch and move. I'm going to pick it up by the plastic, only by the plastic. And I am going to put a piece of scratch paper down. The plastic was to make sure um, I can pick it up. The paper is going to help absorb a little bit of the moisture. And also the plastic is going to help protect the book that I put it on or a board. See how I'm going to kind of carefully as possible flip things like that so we don't bend it up. Now I'm also going to um, poke my holes for the hanging. Now this is not something you have to hang, but if it's something you choose to hang, you'll have this option. So I'm just going to take a pencil and again, just like we talked about on your design, don't put it too close to the, um, the corner. Move it in here you know, at least the thickness of a pencil in both directions. And it's okay. Oop, that hole's not big enough. Not even close. All right, I'm going to go with plan B. I'm going to use a paper clip and kind of dig the hole out of there. Because this hole will shrink. Oh, this works so much better. Now, you might see little crumbs of clay and so on. That doesn't matter at this point. When the clay is this soft, just let those crumbs stay there. That doesn't matter at all. When the clay dries up a little bit, it'll be much easier. Oh, forget the pencil idea. This is great. I'm just going to kind of drill until I hit the bottom. And all that clay is coming out. That means you're putting less stress on the clay. Okay, that little big chunk of clay, I can just kind of pick that up. Don't try to do a lots of touch-up right now. Okay, even the hole on the opposite side down there isn't as big as it is over here. But we'll wait for that clay to get to firm up a little bit so we can carefully turn it over and clean out the other side. So just leave it the way it is. All right, here we go. So now I'm going to wipe my hands off. That's all you can do. Now it's a matter of storing it carefully. So I'm going to put my book underneath here, your hard surface or your board. Okay, my plastic is there to help protect the book. I'm going to put another chunk of paper. If you happen to use newspaper and some of the ink gets on the clay, doesn't matter. That, that ink uh, fires away. It burns away when it gets to, you know, almost 2,000 degrees. And where's my other plastic? There's my other plastic. I'm going to protect the other book. That's going to go here. Careful. Don't push down on it. Just the weight of the book is all you need. Then I'm going to slide where my big, oh, here it is. I'm going to slide this. Hopefully these books fit. Again, now be careful. You don't want to push down or push down on one side or the other because you might make that slab get thin on one side. So, let's see if I can do this all by myself. Slide that in there. Now again, I've heard stories of siblings or parents or somebody or you accidentally dropping things or 
throwing things away, that kind of stuff. So be careful. All you have to do is wrap the bag under. You don't have to tie it. You don't have to string it up. You don't have to tape it. Just wrap the bag under there kind of carefully, and that can sit overnight. Okay, it should, when you pick it up the next day, it should still be pretty wet because there's lots of plastic and everything around it. But hopefully that the paper that you put right next to the clay is going to soak up a little bit of that moisture. So really, and then this extra clay you cut off is still good clay, then you'll be able to use this clay to um, use for attachments for your sculptural pea parts on top of this tile that you have designed in your drawing. All right, that's about it, guys. You just have to leave this alone overnight, um, maybe even two days if you uncover it and it's still really wet. Just I would just leave it out for an hour or two, then put it back like this, and then uh, the, hopefully the day after that, you can start attaching things. Or while this is made, you can continue uh, refining your drawing or looking for resources and planning it out. All right, there you go, guys. See you next time.